What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Maxine in this video here again today. We're going to be going over and recapping everything that we know about Maxine so far and just some things that I want to tease about the film. And for the record, I have not seen this movie and I likely will not be seeing it until after it's presumed South by Southwest premiere like the rest of you. A lot of you have done a great job at just paying attention to the things I've been correct about and know that I'm not making these things up. So most of these things will correlate to the news reports that we've gotten and other things that are alleged details that have yet to be confirmed by cast and crew. Also, just to kick it off, since this was like a hit tweet yesterday, this is just me purely speculating, but I think that that horror universal account is basically a reincarnated version of the Scream 6 leaker from last year who was sharing all of those images that got copyrighted if you decided to share them. I think this is just that person under a new name because everything seems very similar. They're stealing tweets and they're tweeting out things that are not true, such as the fact that Maxine will release on February 30th of 2024. You know that's not true if you check your calendar and that's not a date that exists. Yes, it's a leap year, but I think February is only going to have 29 days, not 30. Well, whatever. Jumping into the stuff we know about Maxine. One, Mia Goth is returning as Maxine, the titular character, who has made progress in her efforts to be a Hollywood star. And then we have number two here, Michelle Monaghan and Bobby Cannavale will star together as a pair of detectives solving the mystery that is unfolding during the movie. We know there's a secret cast member. A young actress also was cast to star as a young Maxine, so you 100% will dig deeper into her childhood. I know that for a fact. Elizabeth Debicki stars as a film director who has taken a liking to Max's potential as an actress. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito is starring as Max's adult entertainment agent. He previously made it clear he'd be sharing scenes with her in an interview or two. So it was clear from that interview that he would be sharing the scene with Mia Goff's character and 100% he will be. Lily Collins is starring as an actress named Molly, and Halsey stars as Tabby, who runs into massive problems during the film, according to an audition tape uh, that confirmed that her character would be named Tabby, as well as some other things that have recently transpired. So, number eight here, we have Sophie Thatcher, who has teased an appearance on her IG stor story earlier this year that she would make an appearance in Maxine, and she 100% does. She has a very brief appearance in Maxine. Uh, set photos have revealed that victims will be marked with pentagrams during the film, which is likely to raise eyes on the Night Stalker who is active during this killing spree. The killer is definitely not the Night Stalker though, because this film is a whodunit and they wouldn't give that away by making it the Night Stalker. Everybody knows the name of the Night Stalker if you're someone who is into true crime and stuff like that. You know who the Night Stalker was. Uh, next here on this list... This is just me teasing you all, but the prime suspect that a lot of you keep tossing around is likely to shift off your list or somewhere towards the bottom of the list once you get a chance to see the movie. We know it's set in Hollywood. An iconic Universal Studios set piece will make an appearance as well. This has appeared in previous horror films uh, or horror film, an iconic one, if you will. And then next here on this list, the film has a lot in common, I would say, when it comes to the Scream franchise, mostly with Scream 3 and a dash or two of Scream 5, if I'm being quite honest, but mostly Scream 3. Moses Sumney's character works at the video store and is good friends with Max. Mia Goth is pulling double duty once again with her performances. For those of you who know what that means, get excited. Number 17 here on this list, Kevin Bacon is a private detective who has his eyes on Max during the film, but is he the killer? We'll just have to wait and see. Yes, I know the answer to that, but I'm not going to tell you. Number 18 here, to the dudes listening right now, you'll probably end up cherishing your nether region a little more after experiencing this film. That's all I'm going to say. If you're on my Twitter and you see my tweets, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, an image has surfaced online indicating post-production for Maxine is actually done, but IMDb isn't always reliable as we know. A set photo here also is confirming that the Puritan 2 is the film that Max has landed a role in since that's her head on the poster. Uh, next here, we know that this is intended to wrap up the trilogy that X started back in 2022. So with the downfall of Scream 7 still occurring, 
Maxine has quickly just risen to the top of my most anticipated of the year list. Everything I've heard about it brings a smile to my face. It easily will be the best slasher who done it for 2024 unless some unexpected newcomer like Founders Day is able to win me over with no chance of it being dethroned, which I don't see possible. I'm not even going to be able to look at Founders Day until after the new year, but my screener is pending. The motive also for Maxine, I would argue, is very timely. It's understandable. It makes sense. It's not something that feels thrown together at the last minute. It feels like the natural progression of everything we've been hearing about ever since Pearl, ever since X, and now it's culminating here in Maxine. So everything comes full circle. And the motive, again, it speaks to the current times we exist in, in terms of the entertainment industry, I would argue. And it seems very convenient considering all the heartaches or hardship that Hollywood endured this year with the strikes, etc. You get the whole shebang that we know occurred. But so you guys can let me know if you're looking forward to Maxine in the comment section down below. Why or why not? Do you think that Maxine will end up being your favorite out of the trilogy? Why or why not? Let me know down below. Do you think that Maxine will be the weakest of the trilogy? Let me know why or why not down below. Uh, which of the newcomers that are featured in the film are you mostly looking forward to seeing? Is it Halsey? Is it John Car John Carlo Esposito? Kevin Bacon, who we know has a very tenured history with the horror genre as far back as maybe even prior to this. I think Friday the 13th was his first horror film. I could be mistaken, but those of us who are very familiar with Kevin Bacon definitely know that he had a hand in that original Friday the 13th film back in 1980. What do you think will happen with Maxine in the film? Who do you think is the killer and what do you think their motive is? How similar to Scream 5 and Scream 3 do you think this movie will be? And what do you think I mean when I make those comments? What do you think this will have or what comparisons or similarities do you think this will share with Scream 3 and Scream 5? I would like to know all of that down in the comment section below from you guys. I cannot wait to see Maxine when it releases. If I had to guess, I would predict since South by Southwest is in March, that's my prediction. It will have a debut at South by Southwest. Some days after its debut in March, it's going to release probably later that same week or next week, maybe the 22nd or so, because there's another big movie that's coming out in March that it won't want to compete with. So if it can't do March, maybe April, but we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you're thinking about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.